sitting at the top of any organization is huge responsibility. Just imagine if that organization is the BCCI. And given if you're not from a cricket background, it will be a task and a half. Given that billions of people are complaining about this sport. Now, Jay Shah is someone we have respect for in one way or the other. Think about his rise to the top, not just in the BCCI, but also what he's done to achieve the status of becoming the chairman of the ICC. In today's Cricket.com Sledgebox, we talk about the man, Jay Shah. It all started in 2009 when Jay Shah started working with the Central Board of Cricket in Ahmedabad. Then, two years later, he was included in the marketing committee of the BCCI. 2013 saw him take over the secretary of the Gujarat Cricket Association post, while 2019 he became the BCCI Joint Secretary. In 2020, he played a pivotal role in revamping the Motera Stadium, and the year after that, he was appointed as a president of the Asian Cricket Council. And well, 2024, Jesha was appointed as a chairman of the ICC. In fact, it's never been easy to carry the nepotism tag for someone like Jay Shah in his very days as a BCCI administrator. But when you talk about the credit, it simply has to be given to him. And my colleagues will tell you why in his tough days as an administrator. Jay Shah's tenure as BCCI secretary. See, in a country like India, where there's a noise of nepotism, you know, Jay Shah, Jay Shah is okay, he's from a you know, very strong political background and everything. But... But he has done his bit, right? The way he has done, you know, all the all those things he has done for the domestic cricket first, infrastructural development. The okay, the best part, the best part for me is definitely NCA. For me, you know, is kept bhi mujhe aisa lagta tha ki the richest board in the world can't have a NCA just like that. Like Chinna Swami ke bagal mein there is this NCA. I don't. Matlab, wo thoda sa khalta tha mujhe. But now they have a full fledged NCA in preparation. I think that's. That's what else he could have done. Yeah, I completely agree with you on that. I mean, uh, in terms of, of course, the infrastructure itself, let's start from that. You know, people talk about how, you know, Indian cricket is good, but in India, ke andre bhi, we have clearly 30 different state associations and every place to develop is not so easy. And when we look at how, you know, cricket in the Northeast, cricket up top near Jammu, how the grassroots level pe infrastructure uh, developed kiya in terms of facilities, in terms of access to equipment. And that goes a long way in ensuring that there are players from because we usually hear of, you know, how Bangalore, se aage, Mumbai, se aage, Delhi. Se aage. It's high time we start hearing that there's someone from se koi aaya, ya, fir Sikkim se koi aaya. and hopefully onwards and upwards for that. And secondly, of course, we cannot look past women's cricket as well. For the longest time, we that we are promoting In fact, even before Jai Shah, his predecessor, I will not lunga, but of course, he also said that we will take the league, we will take the league, we will take the league. But Jai Shah, who actually ensured that WPL started and started how. It's not that it means that we have done it for the sake of it. It's not that it's not that it's not that it's not that. And lastly, before I forget, BCCI ke chief, and of course, Zahir si baat hai, he will focus only on Indian cricket. Right? But despite that, this focus on ensuring that other countries, other boards also exist cohabitively. Again, kudos to him on that. Be it Ireland, be it Zimbabwe, be it Afghanistan. How many countries are going to go to Australia and England? Go and play in there. They remember that there was human rights violations, or then something happened, or then something happened. At the same time, they don't remember anything. Again, if BCCI did not travel to Ireland, for example, Ireland ke board ke chief ne khud saaf saaf bola hai, ki this was the first time we've actually made money by organizing a bilateral series against the country because people want to watch the likes of Rohit and Kohli and whatnot. So you can clearly see how beneficial Jai Shah's tenure has been for cricket in India. I mean, come to think of it, what Jai Shah has done in his tenure, massive strides in Indian cricket. Not just to the fact that he got a staggering 48,350 odd contract in terms of media rights for the IPL, but he also inducted equal pay system between our men's cricketers and our women's cricketers, and the small matter of the WPL. Now, these are all green flags in his tenure, and that certainly is appreciative. Cricket in the Olympics has been ignored for a while, but now 2028 Los Angeles will see that be made sure of as well. And promises in cricket will always be there from the top all the way down. Only time will tell how Jay Shah goes about his business as an ICC chairman. Tell us in the comments if he can actually pull off a few things that even we can't predict 
as cricket fans. That's all we have in this one. Thanks so much for watching. It's a goodbye and good night from us.